My name is Simone Cox and I'm the owner slash seamstress of His Table Rain Fisher. To describe sewing or my craft in three words, I would say it's creative, it's passionate, and it's unique. The first time I picked up a needle and thread was when I was very, very small, and it was actually to hand sew. And because baby doll clothing was a little bit too much money for my family, I decided, hey, why not take these old shirts that we have, rip them up, and some rubber bands, and make baby doll clothes. The three seamstress that inspire me are Taylor Hatfield, Inez Brown, and Shanice Fab. Each and every one of them show me their passion for sewing. They remind me of the reason that I sew and the passion that I have. So they kind of ignite me and motivate me to do better and to do more. So that's why I love them so much. And I've always had the desire to meet a need. And with that need, I've always thought of the children in Africa and many others in Africa who lack clothing. Yet, I may not be able to provide food, but I can sew, so I can make simple garments that will clothe them and even put a smile on their face. And with that, I one day do hope to evangelize and go and provide them with that, but also with the love of God. The garments that I usually sew are usually dance garments, so palazzos, leotards, dance tops, tunics, overlays, but I also make random things like accessories, so bow ties, regular ties, skirts, blazers, t-shirts, whatever people ask me to make, even pillows. My favorite garment that I've sewn today are what I call the dance pants. They're just really baggy and comfortable and I just love the way they feel and the way they have elastic at the bottom. You never have to worry about them rolling up or showing any leg or anything. What I enjoy most about being a seamstress is seeing the client's face when they get the product that they envision and they finally get to touch it, put it on and see it. I just love their expression, their excitement just to see what they created and what they allowed me to help them bring to life. I draw my inspiration from people and as well from fabrics. I go to Joanne sometimes and I just walk in there for maybe an hour and don't realize it. And I see certain fabrics and I'm like, yes, I can make this from that. So the fabric kind of in a sense speaks to me. Tip that I would give anybody that's beginning is it is not as easy as it looks. So just read everything that you can and play with cheap fabric whenever you can just so you can get the feel of it. And to add on to that, don't give up. It may be hard and it may be discouraging at times, but don't give up your end product when you do get it right. It's worth it. You can contact me at pissingamayvisions at gmail.com or you can find me on Facebook or Instagram and just look for his tailor-made visions. Tailor-made, one word.